Hi there. Could you help me? Could you tell me where Norman Swift lives? People aren't very friendly around here. I don't know where he is. But I'm not going to tell you. Better get on your way. I don't think so. Better get out of your way. So, where does Norman Swift live? For some reason, dogs have never really liked me. It must have something to do with the way I smell. It's not that I smell bad. It's just that I guess to dogs I have a special kind of smell. Anyways, the fact that dogs hated me affected my ego when I was younger. As I got older, I always felt less confident than I should have. It disturbed everything from my relationship with my parents to how I did in school. Well, to me, it was always just a waste of time. I think subconsciously I was always thinking that no matter how well I did on tests, I could never get dogs to like me. I felt trapped. It took me a long time to deal with the fact that dogs were never going to like me. However, one day I built up a ton of courage. It took me years to face up to my problem. I swear I'd never let anything intimidate me in that way again. Never let fear or insecurity make me someone I didn't want to be. So I walked over to my neighbor's yard. Their dog was the worst of all. He'd always attack me and try and take my lunch on my way to the school bus. I walked right up to that dog. He started to snarl and growl at me. I took my time and punched him right in the mug. I settled things right there. I wasn't going to like dogs, and they weren't going to like me. We had an arrangement, and that's all I needed. So here I am. I'm the good guy, and he's the bad guy. I'm going to kill him, and everything's going to be all right. If I let him live, he'll kill me and probably a bunch of other people. He's bought everyone for miles about. So I guess we've got an arrangement. If I go see him, one of us dies. Sure, it's murder. My mother always told me not to kill people. Then there's that whole religion element, as if I didn't already trade my soul in in high school. I don't know. I guess people kind of look down on killing. Of course, there's a chance I'll be killed, too, but I'm not going to worry about that, because I bet it's pretty cool to die. Maybe I'm overthinking this situation. Maybe I should just hop this fence and go kick Swift's ass. Maybe I'm just insane. But then again, I am talking to a large hand tool. Well, look who came to say hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.